We're here in the print study room at the Museum of Modern Art, and I've set up my portable studio, which shows how portable it is. An aquatint box it works on the principle of a lower chamber and an upper chamber with a shelf in the middle. The lower chamber, the rosin, gathers at the bottom, and then in a normal aquatint box, you'd use an air compressor to make a dust storm that would blow the rosin up into the upper chamber where it would settle slowly onto the plate that's on the shelf. The chamber obviously had to be more compact than a, than a you know, eight foot rise of a normal aquatint box. I have a background in large format photography, and so I went to a photo supply place and I bought a be two bellows, one for the lower chamber, lower chamber, one for the upper chamber. The uh, aquatint box and the hot plate, cleaners, solvents, etc., they're all shipped in a shipping crate. The aquatint box is taken out and it needs to be set up on two level surfaces. One obviously is a level floor, but I need chairs and, and folding chairs work very well for this. After putting the rosin in the box, this is a piece of surgical tubing that I use instead of an air compressor, so I, I um, use my own breath to um, activate the rosin and create the dust storm. I then allow the rosin to settle onto the plate. Uh, I very carefully take it out and I put it on a hot plate. Hot plate is usually about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the rosin will melt in less than a minute. Uh, after the artist has painted on the plate, I will etch the plate in ferric chloride. After etching it, I'll uh, clean the plate off with a solvent and then polish the plate and, and uh, we're ready to start proofing actually. And I'm able to hold the plate in my hand and the light will reflect on it in certain ways where the artist can actually see what they've done. In February 2010, I was here at MoMA and Christophe Cherie told me about the printout exhibition and that uh, they'd like me to do a special project for the exhibition using my portable studio. I hadn't used the portable aquatint box in almost 10 years, and so it was exciting to um, you know, have the opportunity to go to Cologne and to use it with the Tobias brothers. I work with artists whose work obsesses me. I was looking through an art magazine and I saw an ad for an exhibition at MoMA. I, I was completely arrested by the image. Surrealism, a circus poster, fairy tale, it was kind of schizophrenic, it was really graphic. Uh, their woodcuts are, are, are groundbreaking, uh, but they had never done etching. They'd done a few dry points, but they'd never done any etching before. And I noticed on the floor there was some pieces that they were working on where they were painting in white paint on black paper and black canvas. This, this could be very interesting as white ground aquatint titanium white pigment, ivory snow powder, and linseed oil. They can paint with that, and by putting it on in different layers and letting the layers dry, uh, they can actually get a multi-tonal aquatint. And I asked them if they would be interested in working in this method, and they thought that would be great. And they followed it, and they embellished on it, and they made it their own, and I think the, the project really came out in an outstanding way. And they sat at separate desks that were a good distance apart, so they worked separately but they're constantly going back and forth with the plates and, and I'm going around the room too. It's just, it was a very fluid way of working. They are brothers, they're twins, and the nature of their process is collaborative. It was very easy for them to collaborate with me. When we finished the work, uh, they came over to me and said, you know, there's always been two of us, but now working with you, there's three of us. So I felt like they included me as being the third, uh, the triplet. So I consider myself an honorary Tobias triplet. <laughs>